everybody. What's up, everybody? Welcome to your OG FFL week. Uh, actually, first week of the playoff preview. You are getting a live look in uh, to your commissioner's car right now. This is a behind-the-scenes look. So I figured, actually, I forgot that my uh, my holiday, cr well, my Christmas party for my company is uh, tonight. So I realized, wow, I need to do a preview show. So during my lunch break, I am doing this for you guys from the front seat of my car. Uh, so as you guys saw, the first matchup here uh, that I had li lighted up was mine. Oh, going against George, but we're not going to go against that matchup first. We're going to look at the championship bracket first. And as we, as that song was saying, we want to go dancing. Well, these four teams want to go dancing this uh, into the uh, championship in a couple weeks. But first, you got to go to the quarterfinals. And your first matchup this week is number three versus number six, Rich and Mark versus Joe. Raw Dog Polish Ricans versus the Cardiac Kids. All right, so let's take a look at this. Uh, there's a lot more people walking around here than I originally thought would be at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. But let's look at this matchup. So just from the look at the just from the first glance, you see uh, Rich and Mark have a clear advantage, uh, especially in the running back department over Joe at the moment. But Joe's got to put in DeMarco Murray. Uh, over Rashad Jennings this week, so that'll be, give him a nice big boost. He's got a good team, but the big question mark for Joe this week is Julio Jones. Is he going to play? Is he not going to play? He's got turf toe. What's going to happen? Who knows? Man, I feel like I'm very far in this video. I'm going to come a little closer. Ugh, watch out for the stick shift. Might go up my ass. Eh, whatever. Not the first time. Ah, uh, so, haha, uh, yeah, ah, uh, so... Like I said, first glance, kind of looks like Rich and Mark have the clear advantage. But when you put DeMarco Murray in a starting lineup, Julio Jones is the big question mark for Joe. Um, I think the big question mark for Rich and Mark is probably their flex position. You got a guy like Kelvin Benjamin who hasn't been playing well uh, recently. Then you got a guy on the bench who just scored two touchdowns last week. Mike Gillespie, a good pickup by you, uh, Rich and Mark. I think... The key factor to this game, though, is going to be a guy by the name of Jameis Winston, the quarterback for Richard Mark's team. He is going against the New Orleans defense that is atrocious against the pass, and they're on the road. New Orleans is on the road is even worse. So I'm going to go with my selection of this first, number three versus number six seed, I don't care if you put DeMarco Murray in that lineup. I don't care if Julio Jones plays. I think Richard Mark can put this one in the bag. And they go on to move, and they move on to your semifinal next week. Next matchup, we got our four versus our five. The matchup we all knew was coming last week. It did provide, it did come along this week. We had a guy in Andrew who's got a blank lineup this week. So thank you, Andrew. I now have to print out two pages because of your dumbass making not making moves. Um, but as you look at this, now, Miguel's team is 7-6. and six. Should it have been 7-6, and six, probably not. Had a lucky way in. But you're in, and you're in. That's all that matters. Once you, you get in, you don't care how you get there. Once you're in, you got a chance. Every team's got a chance. I won it as a sixth uh, spot a couple years back. My first championship in this league was out of the sixth spot. So, Miguel in the fifth, coming in not hot. Now, Andrew's team's coming in hot, made a couple midseason trades, especially want to get a guy named Aaron Rodgers on his team. But as you're looking at it, man, you got a couple bad matchups this week, Andrew. Aaron Rodgers playing against Seattle. You got Brandon Marsh, you got Bryce Petty, who doesn't like to throw to anybody else except for Ryan Anderson. Frank Gore against Houston. Houston's defense is very good. Now, Doug Martin against New Orleans, but there's a big uh, – Article that came out this week that they're saying they want you quiz Rodgers to get a lot more carries this week. Yeah, Todd Gurley against Atlanta. Now, Atlanta is horrendous against running backs. The worst defense against running backs this year. So maybe he can come out with a good game. Brandon Cooks on grass. Not not good for the New Orleans offense. Golden Tate against Chicago should be okay. But, I mean, you look at the rest of your team and there's not really a good... I mean, I mean yeah, yes, you got Paul. Maybe you can go Palmer against Miami. But it's just off the top, it doesn't look like it's a good week for Andrew to face anybody, to be honest. That team might be 
That This might be one of your worst weeks, Andrew. And that's why I'm going to have to go with Miguel this week. I don't care if he's only projecting 92.6 points. Andrew, I think your team just has way too many tough matchups. Now, they may surprise me and be like, you know what? Matchups, matchups. Who gives a crap? We're going to dominate anyway. But... It all starts tonight. Latavius Murray against a Kansas City defense. That's not. That's, that's good. That's good against running backs. I mean, it's a, overall. But I think I read some. I saw something in Kansas City's defense. It hasn't been top notch at home this year. It was, it was very. It's a very odd stat. Um, but it's a really cold night tonight. So who knows what's going on with that? With Derek Carr, if they're going to want to shove the ball down the Kansas City's throats like they did against Denver. Just go with their three-headed monster, led by Latavius Murray. Who knows? Uh, but a couple okay matchups. Deshaun Jackson playing against Philly. He always wants to crush Philly. Allen Robinson against Minnesota, but Allen Robinson stinks anyway. Listen, this ain't going to be a high-scoring game, high-scoring matchup. But I think Andrew's got too many tough matchups. And I'm going to actually go Miguel moving on to the next seat, next round. Which means next week's semifinal matchups would be 1 versus 5, Gio versus Miguel, and Alex versus Richard Mark. So that's where uh, that's what I project for next week. Now let's look at the probably the most important bracket of all. Because you got two things coming out of this bracket. You don't just got a champion coming out of this bracket. You got the winner of this bracket gets to pick their... Draft pick, and the loser of this bracket is your toilet bowl trophy winner for this year. Now, the loser of these two matchups coming up that I'm about to explain right now, face off next week in the fantasy football, OG FFL fantasy football, whatever the hell we call it, toilet bowl trophy. And that'll, that'll be the loser of these two matchups. Now, first matchup will go on myself versus George. A very, very close matchup as, it's, as it looks right now. You got me, the 12th spot versus George, the ninth spot, one spot away from getting a bye and automatically not winning the Total Bowl Trophy. But let's see. Let's look at this. Now, you got Tom Brady going Monday night and Julian Edelman going Monday night. So if I'm going to have a chance, I'm going to have to have a big, big lead going into Monday night because I got I got Justin Tucker Monday night, and that's it. So I'm definitely going to have to need a big lead because I think Brady is going to go off this week. People are questioning them. No Gronk. What can they do? Now I think Danny Amendola's out. What are they going to do on offense? Can Brady carry them? Brady can absolutely carry them. It's going to be a great... And then Ezekiel Elliott, the Dallas is going to want to crush the Giants this week. They want to be like, yeah, they're the only team that beat us this year. They're not going to beat us again. They're not going to be the only team we lose to twice in this year. I think they're going to come out firing against the Giants, which sucks for me. Which actually could be good for me fantasy-wise because that means if the Giants are down, we're going to be throwing. And Eli's going to be throwing. Who's he going to be throwing to? Odell Beckham Jr. That's right. Ladari Look at me. Ladarius Green. Great pickup last week. Unbelievable. Whew. I got picked up. Now, yes, I know many of you guys may have saw I did pick up this week. I picked the Detroit defense. Now, we are allowed. Everybody that's still in contention for either the, the championship bracket or money. So I'm still in contention for a draft pick technically right now. Can pick up players. Now, we do recommend what we do want is anybody in the championship bracket can make waiver claims. People that are in the consolation bracket for the draft pick don't make waiver claims. But you, once free agency hits, you can pick up players because we are all battling for something here. That's the reason why we did the consolation bracket to do the draft pick. We want to keep everybody in it for the whole year and listen guys this is a keeper league draft picks matter and where you where you pick so that's key i picked up detroit defense i like that against chicago this week at home chicago beat them this year they're going to want to beat that they're going to want to that's going to be a nice little revenge game right there georgia got some good matchups though kenny Britt against atlanta atlanta like i said is a horrible defense especially against running backs but against wide receivers as well Randall Cobb's going to be good in the slot with no Earl Thomas anymore there in Seattle. Now, of course, I got my Mike Evans. I got my Jordy Nelson. Could be going up against Richard Sherman, but he could also be uh, getting flip flop back and forth. He played a lot of slot last week when Randall Cobb was sitting for a couple plays. But my thing is this. I got no running backs. I got Devontae Booker, who, thank God, Capri Pibbs got uh, hurt because he would have overtaken Booker. And that Bilal Powell, who's horrendous now, the second best matchup in the league against San Francisco. And he out he actually outplayed Matt Forte last week, but Matt Forte out touched him twelve to one. You get one touch to Bilal Powell. Thanks a lot. I had no chance last week. 
So I think that's my biggest thing is I have no running backs at all to play. I traded them all away. For some, I traded my running backs to get more running backs, and the running backs I got sucked. So, in that case, Thomas Rolls, I got to go with George for this victory this week, and I the reason why is Brady, Elliott, and I think Thomas Rolls has a massive, massive game this week. So, George, you move on, and I will officially be playing in the Toilet Bowl Championship. Now, who will I face? That's the big question. Who will I face? Ed versus... Ed versus, uh, was that Ramazan? Fuck you, Peterson. Ed versus Ramazan. I think this was pretty quick. I think Ramazan's guys got a tough team. Kirk Cousins at Philly. Now, Philly at home has been very good against quarterbacks. But this is Kirk Cousins. He's on fire right now. I think he'll be, I think he'll be okay. A lot of good matchups. Doug Baldwin, Eli Rogers, um, Hunter Henry. Who, I mean, the thing is, your, your team is, your team got shot this year. A lot of injuries um, to your team. You really haven't been able to recover. I'm looking over at Ed's team. Ed's team was on a low until last week. I called it coming back out, and he came back on fire. I didn't expect to get 122 points. But congrats, Ed. Nice job coming out of that, uh, what's it called, that low you, your team was in. But you got Stafford against Chicago. I think he'll do well. Melvin Gordon against Carolina, who's surprisingly been bad against running backs. Spencer Ware tonight against Oakland. You're going to be fine there. Kim and Braith's been dominant. You know what? And this is an easy matchup. I got Ed to win. So I think I think the Toilet Bowl Trophy will be, will be basically what it should be. You got the number 12 regular season ranking in myself. Playing the number 11, probably the worst team points-wise. In Ramazan, playing in the in the uh, Toilet Bowl Trophy next week. I think that's exactly what's going to happen. And you know what? I'm the fantasy guru, the OG FFL guru. That's exactly what's going to happen because there's no blazing picks here. Blazing picks, yeah, 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 I may lose that. But this is legit fantasy playoffs. So well, let's see. We got, uh, so I got Richard Mark beating Joe. And I got Miguel beating Andrew. And I think so that means next week you got Gio versus Miguel. And Alex versus Andrew, uh, and Alex versus Rich and Mark, and then and then you got your your final next week with the Chill Opal Trophy. I think George is going to beat me, and I got Ed beating Ramazan. So me versus Ramazan in the championship Chill Opal Trophy next week, and then in the semifinals of the of the draft pick, you're going to have uh, Matt versus who would it be? Shoot. Who would it be? Hold on. So if I'm in last, so George, that means you are the third seed. All right. So George would play. So George would play Ramiro, and then what's it called? Ramiro, and then Ramiro. No, Ramiro, and then Matt would play. I forgot. Matt's the one I forgot. Matt, Matt got stuck at the end of the year. He's in the number one seed in our division. But so. That's it, guys. I got to head back to work. You all have a great evening. And once again, we are coming to you live from Jeep 2003 right here in my car. Everybody have a great night. Uh, don't forget, Oakland, Kansas City tonight. A lot of match, great matchups this week. Monday night's a big game. Everybody have a great evening, and I'll see you guys soon.